looking for a guy whereby I'll have fun with and the same pete na na la. I if ge man, na yiting funa futi ang nige zero Yes. So my question is, what what's your favorite sex position? And uh, and I mean to add on that, what, what what's the most adventurous place you've had sex? In? Give me the juicy details. What's your favorite sex position, and what's the most adventurous place you've had sex? Okay, my favorite sex position is doggy style. My girl. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I can't stay hours, but my favorite sex position. Is woman on top. I can ride that nigga. I can ride. I can ride a horse. That's what I'm telling you. So I don't get tired of riding a horse unless the horse gets tired. That's it. Okay. Hi guys, I'm your girl Bunolo and welcome to today's show, Mpemoto, where people will meet their potential partners. So today what we have for you is a very, very interesting and special show. So today we have two potential girls looking for people, looking for partners, and two potential guys looking for partners as well. Hazele original from Papa at 21 year of age. And they call me Charlie and she's part of my name. So that's me. Nani Vito get Tato, Tato from Bam Gate, and I'm guitar coach T, and I'm single and I'm ready to make up. Okay guys, so now that we have met our potentials, now what's going to happen, we've set questions for both, for both the guys and the girls to ask each other so they can get to know each other better. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Ready. Good yeah. luck. Uh, ladies, uh, Okay. Yeah, I love pets because I have one. So, if you are a teacher or a 
and I step four. I'm not a virgin. Okay. I'm first step four. But when I go out partying, I don't go out partying. And when I'm drunk, I, I like get the twara. Alcohol doesn't control me. So what I want to ask you, I'm asking you the same question returning to you. That when you go out partying, are you looking for a one night stand all the time? No, it's not like that. I'm sure I was written on my outfit with niggas. You check. So some things happen sometimes, but we don't do it from the heart to work on. So if like if I'm looking for someone like that, very naranja and it's supposed to happen. The problem is when it comes to you ladies who are on the night and she has with or maybe they escape the uh, work. So I don't know when it is this much <laughs> what type of sex a uh, position you like or how long last thing is actually eh, eh, like eh, we chat like how, how many hours okay i can't say hours but my previous sex position is woman on top i can ride that nigga i can ride i can ride a horse yeah. that's what i'm telling you so i don't get tired of riding a horse unless the horse get tired that's me okay yeah um so um yeah on that i think um this question is for both ladies for both um Tarele and, so, and, and tato um i think uh, i've gotten a gist of what tato is looking for so maybe um, i mean Tarele, so maybe tato you can just tell me what is that you're looking for in a relationship what is that you're looking for in a guy what is your ideal relationship i think that would be my first question and i'd appreciate if you both could answer but I think, I mean, I already got a, an idea of what the um, other lady is looking for. Oh, okay. So in terms of me, I'm looking for a guy whereby I'll have fun with. And the same pete, I'm not like. If you get mad, I'm not going to get mad. Yes. And then awesome. I want um, to, okay, an outgoing person, because I'm an outgoing person myself. Like I, I like going out in terms of maybe like I go vacation, you mm. know. Yeah. Vacation, just, right. Yeah, vacation. You get me. No, I feel you, girl. I feel exactly. You. Yeah, so exactly. yeah, and the kinyaga moto also na the secret, you know. I want open someone. Book. Yes, open book, exactly. So yeah, I need an open book person. Moto when I'm not feeling okay, I could like talk to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then and not argue a lot. So yeah. Okay, oh no, beautiful, beautifully put. So um I think I mean if I can just sum up from both the ladies, I mean both of you are looking for a friend in a partner. You are looking for a relationship that has got respect as a hallmark, I mean as a foundation. And you want someone to, I mean, your friend that you can have fun with, go out with, have amazing sex with, go out on vacations and things like that. That sounds like music to my ears. So, I mean, that, that then brings me to my next question. So, uh, before I even touch on my next question, sounds like uh, potentially we could have so much fun, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm an accountant by profession, but I've left that now. I'm into, uh, I'm too, I'm into um, aromatherapy. So, I make nice oils and, and, and products. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking now on that vacation, I can make you a very nice massage oil, you know? And I've got magical hands, by the way. Oh, okay. So um, you mentioned that you are quite the rider, you know? Like, uh, you never get tired unless the horse itself lets you down. <laughs> that sounds very exciting to me because, yeah, I mean... Hey, I love, I, I love riders. I mean, I, I don't mind being ridden, you know? I love riding too, so it's going to be one hell of a ride. So my question is, what, what's your favorite sex position? And, uh, and I mean, to add on that, what, what, what's the most adventurous place you've had sex in? Give me the juicy details. What's your favorite sex position? And what's the most adventurous place you've had sex? Okay, my favorite sex position is doggy style. My girl! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. And then you said what? What uh, is the uh, most adventurous place, like uh, outside of the bedroom, perhaps, and maybe the couch? Balcony. Balcony. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um, 
balcony. Tell her, tell, tell me a little bit more about the balcony. I think it was like one well, need to. Okay, I but was it exciting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you did you experience the thrill? The what? The thrill. Manage. Was there was there a risk of getting caught while you were in the balcony? No. There wasn't. No. Ah man, that kills the fun. You must do it where, you know, there's what is the risk that someone can walk in, then the thrill just adds that little bit of an extra dimension. Hey. Uh, hey. So the other lady you can tell us uh, where's where we've had sex, what which interesting place in that sex. We already know that, I mean, we already know that you're a woman and top guru. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I'm the person who loves cooking. Eh? I love cooking, so uh, I like have sex in the kitchen yeah. while cooking, Ooh. mixing up the sex pot on the kitchen, the kitchen table. Kitchen. Oh, well, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it must be a meal and a dessert at the same time, preparing all the. I mean, time. like I mean, just thinking about what you're saying, I'd probably even skip the meal and go straight to dessert. <laughs> That, that, that would be a nice thing, that would be a nice thing. So yeah, I love sex in the kitchen because I'm a woman in the kitchen. And you can ride. Yeah, I can ride. So yeah, I wanted to know um, if um, you've had any threesome experiences. And if not, is it something you'd be open to? Or it's a no-go area for you? It's a no-go area. For both of you? Yeah. Okay, what do you have against it? Uh, I just don't... Uh, you just don't thing, share it, do you? Yeah, the thing of two girls being naked in front of a guy, both having sex, like I want to have my chance. I don't want someone yeah. to have You want the sex. full meal. Yeah. You don't want half of the meal. Yeah. I get you, girl. So, um, Gogoletu, let me ask you, what do you like to do for fun? What do I like to do for fun? Yeah. So... I'm, I'm a little bit of a different creature. There's different things I like to do. So for me, fun is not, I don't box fun for me. So, I mean, normally people say I go out and drink and have fun with my friends. I do that. That's part of me having fun. But sometimes for me, fun can just mean snuggling in at a home on a Friday night and just reading a book or just watching a documentary. And sometimes for me, fun is going out to my favorite restaurant and have a nice meal. And sometimes I do that even by myself, you know, as part of my own self bonding. But in terms of um, a relationship, I mean, I love to go out with my person. Similar to you ladies, I mean, I want a best friend in a partner. So for me, be a lady, be my friend, be a freak. I mean, you already mentioned that you're a great cook, so that's another plus for me. I love food, so cooking is also what I do for fun. And I mean, I can I can already in my mind's eye see us you know, in the kitchen doing the thing. I'll help you chop. I mean, no one will come and take over from you. But yes, I'm not too shady. Also in the kitchen, I can actually whip out a really good meal. And yeah, I mean, I I drink. You know, as a social drinker, um, I appreciate the healthier spirits. Uh, I don't drink beer. So, um, I think Tata mentioned that she's Coach T. I don't know if that means you're into the old fitness lifestyle. Does, mm. Is that what it means? Yeah. So, you and I would get along very well. Yeah, I'm quite conscious with my food. So, gym is also part of what I, what I, where I, spend, where I spend my time. I have so much fun being at the gym. So, you and I would have fun together, whether we're at the gym, in the kitchen, or we are out having fun. I mean, I mean, the other thing I like doing, um, if, if, if I get a, hopefully I get a partner that's open to it, I go to strip clubs. It would be really lovely to have my girl come along with me. You can watch naked girl, girls, we can dance. We can also book a cubicle and just, you know, fuck in a different place. So hopefully, I mean, you know, it's something that you are open minded. So what? But yeah, those are some of the things that I like to do for fun. But honestly, I'm a very versatile person. I will try at least anything once in my life. That's how open-minded I am. Okay, we hear you Google it too. Bam, bam. As you said, you go out for the gigs. I want to know what kind of gigs you go. Do you go DJing or you rapping or you do something? I want to know what like, kind of gigs like you well, go. Well, when I'm high, they're obviously something like 
performing and stuff to check. So since in lack of help, I have to learn how to in terms of right to right to right. We just shift now. So we do move down the top. So more the orange and the orange. Ah, so we are going to see. No, I want to specifically know what you do at the gigs. At the gigs, what I do is I, I write. I do, I perform. I'm an artist, just like I say, to go about it. So I make a beautiful dance and make a, you know, forget about the stress and everything. You know, it's not like, ah, glad, but it's hard. We have the same time to go about So I'm more like a dark, but it's hard to go about Oh, so you're a screw screw, or you're not? No, <laughs> no, 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 Okay, so Baba, here you go to the gigs and stuff like that. So it means uh, you're catching the back out here. When you come home, I expect to be having me counting the money in the bag. So we're sharing because we're partners. So are you good with that? Yeah, my, my money is not a problem we check because, you know, most of the time I was going to drive you crazy because it's going to be cash. Like you're going to be throwing me to the bag and stuff. And so money... Money, 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 girl, I'm like crazy. So how much do you make? You really want to know? Per month. You really want to know? Yeah. You must come and find out. You check. Because if I'm going to change this, <laughs> you're going to want me more. You check. Maybe you will want money and stuff. So you must come find out. There. Plus, so minus. Ah, minus. Because that's the shit under the bed. You check. You know, like it's like a... Pablo, gang, bang. Is he a lot of. He's not honest. He's not honest. He's not honest. He's not honest. Because what I make more like maybe in two gigs or three gigs, I can make you know money which is more. How much? If you sit down and you check to 200,000. If maybe I go now, I can go up to 500,000. Then maybe when it's five, it's a month, you check. There I can be counting millions and stuff. It's so you see I'm riding on a Lambo down there. Check the green one. It's got max. And so how much are you willing to spend on a girl? Um, me, I'm willing to give him a love, a dick. Because money is going to be yours, girl. You check. You're going to take it as much as you want. You see. So you don't have to worry about money because it's already there. It's like a stage that you're in. It's why me, I'm looking for someone who's going to actually come and take care of that money and also take care of me because I'm a bad, bad nigga in the chair. <laughs> okay, okay. Gugu? Oh, yeah? Yeah, when coming financially, I want to hear from your side. Let's see, are you stingy or you love yeah, spending? Exactly. Yeah, sure. I mean, um, so for me, um, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. So, I mean, I, I make different amounts different months so there's no like uh, there's no set amount but i make some money that much i can tell you i probably won't give you a, a figure at this point but definitely as my girl you're gonna be taken care of i think that's 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 what i can assure you of i'll take care of you i'll make sure that all your needs are, are satisfied and hopefully i mean what i'm hoping to find here you know on Pemutu is somebody that's a little bit smart you know, um, financially savvy, then we can we can think of ways in terms of how to invest this money and, and make more money. I, I mean, for me, I'm all about securing the bag. I'm all about making as, as much as, as, as can be made out there. So I'm very much open to opportunities. So I'm kind of like looking for a thinking partner, so to speak, as well. But definitely, I mean, as my girl, you don't have to worry. You will be taken care of, you know. Definitely. I'm, I'm quite a generous man. I'll be honest with you. Oh, okay. So, as, I, as I hear you on that, as you seems like a person who is going to have a, a timetable, a plan on business, on how to use the money wisely, on how not to spend money on some... You only uh, have to no, spend money on needs. Yeah, yeah. Much uh, on needs than the ones. Sure. No, don't misunderstand me. I mean, yes, of course, I may have a background as an accountant, but I'm not a typical accountant. <laughs> so, so, so for me... 
I mean, on my entrepreneurial journey is to make money. I'm definitely not making money so that I cannot spend it, okay? That needs to be clear. The reason why actually I want to drive to make money is so that I can afford the nice things that I want. I like things myself. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be outright about that. So it's not going to be like now, oh, I don't buy this. You can't have this. You can't have that. But certainly, obviously, I mean, um, there are sometimes maybe ridiculous demands or what have you not. But I mean, for me, as you said, want to make money so that we can go on vacations, we can go to the Bahamas, we can go to Bali, we can have a nice time. I mean, we are here to live in this life. For me, I'm very big on experiences, you know. So definitely don't mind spending money on experiences. If you said to me, now after this, here we go on a date, let's go bunch jump. Hey, I'm, I'm up for it, you know, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready, willing, and prepared. Or you say, you know, but I don't put together a nice outfit. I mean, you'll be my girl, you know. So I'm open to that. It's not, it's not an issue for me. But yeah, certainly, I mean, there is a little bit of a financial disciplinarian, probably because, simply because of my background as an accountant, in that then there's, I mean, I guess it's a personal preference thing where, I mean, uh, unless I really see value in certain things, for me, they don't make financial sense. But listen, if you are my woman, you are smart, you are able to convince me, able to sell the idea to me, I'm very open-minded, I'm not inflexible. I mean, if it makes sense, it makes sense, and it keeps my girl happy, it keeps my girl happy. Me, I've got a question for that, 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 separate or maybe you was seen from you know started from the bottom check and then there was oh, silence <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. yeah, maybe okay yeah yeah i didn't hear that okay uh, uh, <laughs> i wanted to know about your previous relationship with you. what happened do you separate with him or he separate with you? Oh, really? Since he was singing from what was the cause? What was the cause of the breakup? Of everything was it you or was it him? Okay, it was him. What was caused the? Supposed to be niggas. Cause niggas they trip sometimes. Okay. Niggas lie. That's yeah. the thing. So, so, so what happened is that um, it was his birthday, so I wasn't around. I just uh, sent it. Damn, and what about the cake? No, I was having family problems thing that side, so I couldn't manage yeah, to come yeah. to his birthday. I called him, I gave him a, a call saying happy birthday, mm -hmm. I sent him a gift. Mm -hmm. So what happened? He was throwing a party at his house. Then obviously girls were there. Yeah. So the worst part is, you know how friends, there they are those friends who are like taking care of other friends. So this guy took a video of him having sex. It was the three something. That's why I hate three something. Shucks. <laughs> oh, you got a trauma. Three something trauma. <laughs> it was a three something. So they Damn. took a video and sent it to me, sent it straight to my face. Oh, it was so, his friend. Yeah, his friend took a video. So he was your best friend also so why do you communicate with these friends because you know better you're gonna get hit sometimes so, no you know you know sometimes you cannot choose your but, your boyfriend's friends sometimes they become your friends yeah, as my yeah. friends because if you are protect again like she would manage one time two times since she was not there because i'm going to come back i took us through standing and i'm not sure i was going to be in and i say excel and i forget the other because it's just the same time. So, it means when I, uh, alcohol makes you weak. Yeah. You must not be weak mm -hmm. when you drunk. No, no, I'm just asking. Like, yeah. you, 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 you just hate him for one mistake just because you saw on the that TV. Mistake. If you didn't see him, was you going to leave him? That no. mistake, if it happened when he was drunk, it means it will happen again when he's drunk. Cause, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, he was not there. And then... Can I jump in here? So I think I think you're raising a very important point. So I think for me that it informs my question. 
So, you know, sometimes we've got friends, we've, we've got a partner and we've got friends and then the lines get bled. We all sort of yeah. in the same circle, we become friends. Now this friend took a video and I mean, I don't know what the friend's intention I was. That's the first thing I would question. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, but I think what, what, what I want to pick back on there on that point is what, how do you feel about like um, friends? I mean, when you're in a relationship with someone, you being friends with their friends, they being friends with your friends. Is it is it is it maybe advisable to have clear sort of um, like lines in terms of how the relationships then then work because you're gonna be so so because sometimes things get it. entangled and then I mean people have intentions I'm sure the guy that sent you the video didn't just send it randomly I'm sure he, he must have had an intention behind it but my question is around the whole issue of emotional intelligence in terms of how then do you deal with that situation because i mean i'm looking at it from my perspective i think the friend was wrong to have exposed their friend i mean their friend was wrong to have done what they did in busy with three sons when they are again is busy dealing with issues and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so there's so many layers to address on this issue but for, for me i think I would like to hear more about how you handled it and how is the relationship between you and the friend that sent the video. And like if maybe then you and I, you know, had to yeah, do something yeah. together, you know, like Toluguti, I mean, Mpemutu is giving me you as my person. So I need to know how do we deal with such situations because, I mean, it is what it is. We have friends, we have lives, and these things can happen. How would we handle those type of situations? Especially the issue around friends. I mean, and are my friends your friends? Your friends, my friends, or how do we consolidate? <laughs> so, so that would be my question really for me. Because, okay. Uh, yeah, the guy who took the video was wrong. That's the first question I asked him. Why did you send the video to me? Yeah. What are your intentions? Mm -hmm. As I'm that no, he never did. So, so yeah. So that's the first question I asked him. Mm -hmm. So he was like, no, I know this guy likes you so much. So I know my friend when he's drunk, he gets weak. Yeah. So that that's why this whole thing happened. I was like, okay, fine. I'm not going to talk about it now. Let me come mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. to Joe Wixo and sort it out. Yeah. Can you can we also like cut the crap, guys? I mean, honestly, we are all adults. We all consume waters of immortality, drink alcohol, all of us. Yeah. But honestly, I mean, I, I'm speaking from my perspective. I don't want a partner that um, when they are drunk now, they lose all their sense, their inhibitions. You know, like they, I mean, they make they make decisions that don't make sense. That dis actually disrespect the relationship itself. You know, do you do you ladies believe that? I mean people are controlled or consumed by alcohol or do you believe that people actually intended to do these things and they just using their alcohol as just a, 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 as a, crap, a crutch and an excuse uh okay good yeah, it's fine. um me uh, i see it as, as an intern not yeah. alcohol hey, yeah. mm, but yeah. Yeah. Alcohol so is they excuse. make alcohol an excuse, excuse. excuse. yeah exactly. I think I agree. I, mean, I have to agree. I mean, I drink alcohol. No, no, no. No, I, 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 no, no, I do get, I do get drunk also. I get money when I'm drunk, you know, because yeah. I, mean, I drink the heavy stuff, you know. But I mean, you know, I mean, knowing that it's only before you have to go too much. When she's drunk, you cannot think which man you avoid. She can so not do whatever thing she wanna do, you check because she's a girl. Okay, I don't know which kind of girls you've been dating, bro. Yeah, but, <laughs> but um, <laughs> something. We are trying to do music club in Uganda. You can so much dance with yeah. any girl. But as I say, I mean, as I said, for me, I mean, uh, first prize would be go out have the drinks with my girlfriend anyway. You know what I'm saying? And we all both try we get a money. That's great. You can never go have drunk <laughs> sex. You know what I'm saying, girls? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I mean, we make out and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, this thing that now I was drunk and then my dick slipped into another girl. I mean, come on, guys. It doesn't <laughs> work. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> it was a party. It was having fun. You know what? So, the problem is. If we as a mistake A1, then you have to. Make I like how you guys find it as a mistake. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, what's that F1? I mean, come on, that F1, you address each other, you Sometimes smooch, you can choke it out. And it's still a mistake. I mean, I mean, like, you 
take off so many layers, bro. No, come on, guys. I mean, I mean, I don't know about sex. That's a mistake, guys. But I mean, for me, but I mean, this okay. I, I think it's, it's a whole process for it to be a mistake. I think you guys just wanted to fuck. Just be honest. Okay, Google it. What turns you on, Wena? Physically. Phys- yeah, exactly. Okay, before I even go there, uh, let me just be honest. Uh, I'm more of a uh, sapiosexual. So, intellect turns me on. Like, your brain, your, your, your mind, really. I mean, that works for me. But from a physical perspective, look, I mean, I'm an ass man. I'm a boobs man. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And I love me some beautiful eyes. I think those are the, those would be the top three for me. I... Yeah, no, I like spanking ass. So you gotta have some juice, girl. You gotta have some booty, you know. And yeah, I mean, I, 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 I really enjoy sucking on boobs. So I am not going to be dishonest about it. I love me some nice pair, a nice pair of melons. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, those, those would be the top three for me. But um, as I said, also, I mean, if you have brains to add on top of that, like that just takes the notch up for me. That's just orgasmic for me. So I think my brother would like to answer that question as well, I think. Yeah. I mean, so that he can keep it from. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, like I was telling me on this say. Uh, oh, sorry, man. Thick thighs. Oh, my God. <laughs> my name, my name. <laughs> me, I like a kiss. You see, the first kiss. I love kiss in the chat. I love <laughs> kiss. Oh, to be honest. I'm a brother smooch. Yeah. And my girl is supposed to be you are dead. Like the whiskey when it's mixed, you understand? And the bedroom also as well. As soon as you step up into my bed, the heat just itself to check comes up. That's what it seems to me. So I think we would like to return the question, I suppose, and from the point of view of the ladies, what turns you on physically, what, what really gets you in the mood, you know? Mm. Mm. Hey. Mm. <laughs> Just the details, honey. <laughs> let's hear it. Okay, me one turns me on, firstly. I want a good kisser. A good kisser turns me on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Um, it's an art, isn't it? I yeah. Mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. So a good kisses. I want someone who's grabbing while you're kissing me. Oh, must yeah. grab me. So, must make me my so, so you like the lips <laughs> full. You like, yeah. You like full lips, you know, mm. to kiss and grab that ass while I kiss you like that. Yeah. That's mine. You know, I own that shit. That's mine. No. <clears throat> now yeah, it's Sorry to yeah, uh, yeah, no, she, yeah, she needs to continue. But yeah, no, I mean lovely. Mm. Lovely. No, I was asking you to go with like my kisses. Now we are respond we are Excel or Ufuna Jomutu and also put him. Planet Mars, Mars, yes, in the name. I'm told all the way, and I think I say you also got that juice. Juicy lips, yes. anyway. I respond back. I mean, yeah. it's a two way street, right? It's kissing each other. It's not, it's not about what's being done to you, right? It's, yeah. It's what we do to each other, isn't it? Yeah, we are doing it. each other, you know. We are both receiver and giver. I imagine when I kiss that, I can make you work with this. Sounds like a brother got gay. Now I'm on my side. Ne, you ni kinyang. Mhm. a. Full body massage, antenna oil. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I told you I've got magical hands. I can even make the oils to give you a full body massage. From the back to the lower back. To, I mean, everywhere, head massage. Okay, okay. I'm getting excited. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna see you again for now. No, no, that's not. That's no, not. no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Listen, my hands are itching ah, as you speak. <laughs> you know, it's fine. You wanna get into the action? No, it's yeah. fine. So do you do you play like maybe you play like babies or when we in the bedroom and stuff like maybe you do just like chicken salad and I'm still on my mom's and all that. You are on top because me now I'm still on that level. The whole magic I want the whole fun, the whole game to be on. No, tell her my man's. 
Me, me, my fun people say it's complicated. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's uncomplicated. laughs> okay, okay, yeah, who's a multi tenant? I mean, what I forget about the water. Yeah, yeah my fun is um, me, I love games, mind games, like the 30 seconds. Oh, what games? Oh, that's my girl. Oh. You and I could make a those kind of games that will make us think. Mentally stimulating Mental, games. Yeah, those kind of games. Okay, that 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 are the games that I, I say I have fun with. Mm-hmm. The what, others are, are those what are good games. Uh, bike riding or mountain climbing. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Well, who are we now? Oh, Kosti yeah. is gonna love this one. <laughs> okay, so I think as part of my last bit of questions for me, it's it's, it's around sex. You know, the, the whole sexual <laughs> thing. Which I mean is a beautiful so I would like to know, ladies, from both of you, anyone can answer first. Do you like it rough or do you like it nice? I like it nice. Yeah. You like it nice and slow. Let's yeah. make love. Yeah. But sometimes it's good to fuck, you know. And I mean when we drunk, I mean probably we're not really gonna be taking it nice and slow now, would we? But uh, your your preference is nice and slow. That background music. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice and slow. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it's hot in here. I'm personally feeling hot. We have riders, girls are riding horses. We have our two pack or oh, no, you said you are who? The MB Pro. La la. Keeps money under the mattress, guys. Are you ready to meet your potentials now? Yeah. Yes, I, I feel like there's some potentials, but I don't know about you guys. I, I'm feeling it. I feel the spirits. But now, what's going to happen, we're going to remove the board so the guys can see the girls and the girls can see the guys. And hopefully, hopefully, they like each other. So that's what's going to happen. I'm crossing fingers for you guys. Good luck. <laughs> Hi, coach. Wow. Hey, I'm a lover. I'm Gugu. I'm Tali. Oh, Tali, I'm going to Oh, coach. Coach T. When I thought maybe it was this tall, man. Yeah, but since I saw him, I know you're tiny movie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I don't do hair in the chair. Oh, he probably buys hair mm. with all that stick. With all that stick. Mm. Under his mattress. Yeah. Okay. 
I don't give back. Maybe in my other team, I want to know if we can be together and stuff. So I don't know what this show has brought to you with me. Maybe this week, it's not a good one. It's a good one. Why do you think it's not a good one? It's a big reveal. Yeah. Who do you think? Between Ubebe, no Google, is your potential, your potential person, your potential husband, maybe one day, between the two of them? None. None? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> and Tale? Uh, me, I think like I, I, it's not a potential, but it's someone I can like talk after the show, we are five after the show. It's Google. Google. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to direct the question to the guys as well. Bebe, between Tata and Tale, who do you think is your potential according to the answer, the questions that you've heard and the answers that they gave? It's just that Tali was moving so smooth and she would manage it out. I think I was falling in check, but mm, I don't know. Because it's not for me to decide the check. Cause I can maybe still decide it. Yeah. No, it's up to you. I can think your potentials. So yeah. between the both of them, who do you think? The leader must be decisive. Yes, who do you think it could? So one of them. Who do you think could be your person? Who to know? Time or something gonna make this money together. And that's true. I think that is the best from the start. And to you, Google. Yeah, so I think clearly there's there's definitely potential to correlate to each other. Um I'm I'm keen, you know, to chatting after this, you know, let's see where we can take this. I think there is there is there is potential, you know, we can see what we can work with. So you guys are changing numbers. It is what it is. I mean, I think <laughs> I'm ready to put in the work. Hallelujah. Okay. okay, so what we're gonna do right now, guys, since we, we found our possible potentials, we're gonna let the other guys go out so that Ukuku Notale can learn each other a bit more, you know, a bit a bit more from what they know already. So please guys, I'm gonna ask you to to shift out. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm also gonna leave you guys to you guys will look at her in the eye. I mean if she rides, my guy. Are you ready? For the ride of my life, oh yeah. Are you are you strong wind daughter? I it sees one. Because no you forgot. <laughs> I like it. If you really want a person, come to Pemoto, guys. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Imagine the babies that can come out of this. Ah! <laughs> Charlie, do you like neck kisses? Um. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. I do. But you say you don't bite, ne? No, no, I nibble. Okay. Oh. I don't bite. <laughs> okay. Mm. And it's FC, yeah, someone left tattoo. I do love tattoos. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Then you and I could go make tattoos together, you know? You have I mean, your, so my name on, on yourself. I have your name on mine. <laughs> you want to take it to that level? <laughs> oh, it's a dream. Hmm? It's a dream. Yeah, I mean, yeah, look, I mean, let's, um, let's vibe, man. Let's see how it goes, you know? But yeah, I can tell her I'm, I'm, I'm pain tolerant, you know? Okay. I mean, you sound like you're pain tolerant also. Yeah, and as you said, you're a designer, I'm a modeler on the side, so... Oh, a match made in heaven. I yeah. mean, fashion heaven. Together we can do fashion something events. more than the Definitely. outside of relationship and stuff. No, absolutely, absolutely. We okay. could do business together. Okay. You know? This is nice with you. No, it is really nice so meeting you. I love your eyes, by the way. Thank you. You've got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eyes. Thank you. You know? 
I can I can see the future. <laughs> when I look into your eyes, you know. Okay, let's hope the future is bright. Just like your talk. I mean, <laughs> what could be brighter? You know? And yeah, I mean, like, yeah, you, I mean, you are the, you know, there's, there's a song, but I think it's Sean Paul, you know, to say, um, she, she only loves me in my sleep, because she's my dream girl, mm. you know, um, I'm feeling dreamy at the moment, you know, feeling kind of like dreamy, but hello, Moto, <laughs> hello, Moto, yeah. the Moto. So, um, I think we should take this um, outside of the Moto, and I mean, Let's go do something and let's see if we revive. I mean, I'm, I'm already feeling it. I don't know about you. you yeah, know? let's take it outside. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let the world see us out there. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, I can't wait to go have some nibbles with you, you know. How adventurous is your palate? Can you eat most things, anything? I'm not Are you open to, to trying anything? Things yeah. at least once in your life? Yeah. And there's this really dope Ethiopian place that I'm thinking we could go and eat at already. Okay. No, they That's really nice. serve good food, you know, in general. You know, it's very nice. And I mean, they eat with their hands, you know, like Bukhobe. You, know, oh, you guys yeah, call it Bushwa, right? Oh, okay, Bukhobe. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can go do that. I mean, me, I'm, I've got a very adventurous palate. So I can do that. I can do Ghanaian cuisine. Uh, I can take you to the marble, you know, if you want something more. Like but let's out. not go out much, because yeah, no. I'm a kitchen girl. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you cook at home. I mean, we could make these magical meals at home already. I mean, yeah. Yeah, look, I love my food, so my woman cooks. It's a plus for me. Can't complain. You know, you can whip up something nice out of the kitchen. Hopefully, it makes it that far, you know. Yeah. I mean, to, to be ripe enough to eat. Oh, I mean, I may just jump in and just have you for this. <laughs> okay, hi, Vampire Moto. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. So, um, from my perspective, I think, yeah, I mean, I'd like to thank the show. You know, Vampire Moto, I think I found my potential and we're going to be on this ride, you know, to see how things go. But yeah, this is definitely a solid start for me. You know, okay. as I said, now I'm a lover. Can I kiss you? Yes, you can. No, just a wow. young, young one for the show, you know. I'm not going to yeah. smooch you in front of you. I'm not going to give you guys a show now. <laughs> you know? Guys, love is beautiful. If you don't know love, or if you don't want love, uh, or if you don't believe in love, I, I keep... Look at this. They even ended with a kiss. Who would have known, guys? In Pemutu, Iba Fili Moto. Or Iba Fan me. Let me say that. I'm loving this. And I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this show. And next time, we'll have something even bigger and better for you guys. Are you guys happy? We're happy. Thrilled. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm, I mean, I'm happy. I couldn't ask for more. Look at them. They're happy. She can't stop smiling. And I can't she's got stop the most smiling. beautiful smile. I can't stop smiling, guys. Uh, they're going to be stop cooking something in the kitchen, something big. Next time, Greg OPW, we're going to a wedding for these people. Thank you, guys. <laughs>